Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. This is another episode of Power Query Tutorials, that is Data Flows Part 2. In today's video, we would learn about overview of data flows, data flows run in the cloud, data flows use a powerful transformation engine, data flow integration with Microsoft Power Platform and Dynamic 365, benefits of data flows, use case scenarios for data flows everything you would learn in today's video so stay tuned till the end of this video now what are you waiting for let's get started if you are over here for the very first time please consider to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest updates and videos. Data flows are self-service cloud-based data preparation technology. In our previous video, we have already seen how to create a data flow. I'll give you an overview once again in today's video. So please don't forget to watch this video till the end. Data flows are authored by using Power Query, a unified data connectivity and preparation experience already featured in many Microsoft products, including Excel and Power BI. Customers can trigger data flows to run either on demand or automatically on a schedule. Data is always kept up to date. Data flows can be created in multiple Microsoft products. As you can see on your screen, we can create a data flow from relational database, Excel or text, or from the software as a services. Then we can use Power Query transformations and then we can push the data either into our Azure Data Lake storage or Dataverse. Data flows are available in Power Apps, Power BI and Dynamic 365 Customer Insights. The ability to create and run data flows is bundled with those products licenses. Data flow features are mostly common across all products they are featured in. But some product specific features might exist in data flows created in one product versus another. Now let's see how this actually works. Here I'm in my Power BI service account where I'm going into my demo workspace. Over here you see this button you can create on data flow and from there you can start adding new tables. So click on this add new table. Here you can select your Excel, folder, JSON or any other kinds of data source that you have and based on that you can create. While working on Power BI or Azure, it's gonna go to the Azure Data Lake storage. However, if you are working on Power Apps or Power Automate, then it's gonna go to the Dataverse. Data flow run in the cloud. What does that mean? Data flows are cloud based. When a data flow is authored and saved, its definition is stored in the cloud. A data flow also runs in the cloud. However, if a data source is on-premise, an on-premise data gateway can be used to extract the data to the cloud. Basically, you need a connection between your cloud and your on-premise data source. So that's gonna happen using on-premise data gateway. When a data flow run is triggered, the data transformation and computation happens in the cloud and the destination is always in the cloud which can be your dataverse or again can be your azure data lake storage data flows use a powerful transformation engine as i showed in the last video you can do a lot of transformations for example if we'll come back over here so you will see there are a list of transformations that you can do you can append queries you can merge queries but if you want to do further transformations whether you want to change your data type you want to detect data type you want to split the column by delimiters by positions you want to apply some statistical analysis over there you want to use some of those date and time and there are so many you want to transpose reverse everything is over here so you can perform all those operations over here not only that, suppose you want to reuse your Power Query. So all these are Power Queries. So once you will go to the Home tab, under the Advanced Editor, you will find these are the Power Queries related to each and every table. So you can either copy from there if you want to reuse it 
or you can directly just copy from here and paste it again so it's gonna appear over here also i mentioned in my last video where i explained about the data flows that you can either duplicate or reference your queries so that's also another option so these are the couple of options that you can do over here if you would like to know more about these transformations please do let me know but in our all the videos we do always split group by or apart from that we do the different kinds of transformations like drive column duplicate column or just renaming the column changing the different data types so all these transformations are there you should practice more into this one because whenever you are working on power query you have to work on that we will study all the different kinds of functions as well which you cannot perform generally through this ui portal that we will discuss in our upcoming videos but right now you should know how to do this using this portal data flow integration with microsoft power platform and dynamics 365 because the data flow stores the resulting entities in the cloud-based storage other services can interact the data produced by data flows for example, if we are creating a data flow, then we can consume the data either in the Dataverse or Azure Data Lake Storage, which can be further consumed by Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent, or Microsoft 365. Here, I'm gonna show you one another demo that on Microsoft Teams, you can build your data flows as well. How to do that? Let me show you. You must log in on Microsoft Teams online. Then you have to come over here on Microsoft Teams and you have to find an app which would be our Power Apps which is over here. You can pin it directly or you can install it. I have already installed it which is over here. So you can start from here. Now you have to come under the Build tab and under Build tab you will find three different options. Build by this team, Installed Apps or Data Flows which is in preview. So you can just click on this new and here you will get again the same options that you were getting over there. But you will see over here the number of categories are limited as compared to what we were getting in Power BI. These are just 12. So there is a limitation of the data sources that you can use over here. But this is how you can do it. So you can just simply select your Excel, you can browse the Excel and you can start adding the tables as we did in the Power BI services while creating the data flows. Now let's discuss the benefits of data flows. Well, the very first benefit is a data flow decouples the data transformation layer from the modeling and visualization layer in Power BI solution. Second one, the data transformation code can reside in central location. A data flow rather than be spread out among multiple artifacts. That means from a centralized solution, you can consume data across the Microsoft Dynamics or Office 365 platform. A data flow creator only needs Power Query skills. In an environment with multiple creators, the data flow creator can be a part of a team that together builds the entire BI solution or operation application. A data flow is product agnostic. It's not a component of Power BI only. You can get it data in other tools and services. Also, data flows take advantage of Power Query a powerful graphical self-service data transformation experience which is very easy to use and you should try your hands on that one because if you want to get the expertise in this power bi you should try this data flow run entirely in the cloud no additional infrastructure is required at all so no more servers no more installations or no more infrastructure you need it just everything is going on the cloud you don't need to depend on your office as well so you can access the data from anywhere at any point of time you have multiple options for starting to work with data flows using licenses for power apps power bi and customer insight although data flows are capable of advanced transformations they are designed for self-service scenarios and require no it or developer background so this is the biggest advantage Anyone can work on this. Even your management people can start working on this. Now we are going to discuss some of the use case scenarios for data flows. The very first comes the data migration from legacy systems. In this scenario, the decision has been made by an organization to use Power Apps for the new user interface experience rather than the legacy on-premise system. Power Apps, Power Automate, and AI Builder all use DataVerse as the primary data storage system. 
the current data in the existing on-premise system can be migrated into Dataverse using a data flow. And then these products can use the data. Using data flows to build a data warehouse, you can use data flows as a replacement of other extract, transform, and load tools to build a data warehouse. In this scenario, the data engineers for a company decide to use data flows to build their star schema design data warehouse, including fact and dimension tables in data lake storage. Then Power BI is used to generate reports and dashboards by getting data from the data flows which is quite easy and it's completely cloud-based. But here you should remember that there is a difference between data flows and a data warehouse. That means although it is similar, but still they are, if you will deep down into this, you will find some differences between these two in terms of capabilities. Centralized data preparation and reuse of data sets across multiple Power BI solutions. That means, once you are going to create one data flow, you can use it for your different reports or even for different systems that is your power apps or power agent or any other. Date dimension transformation execute only once and then used in multiple times. Just an example. Using data flows to build a dimensional model. You can use data flows as a replacement of for other ETL tools to build a dimensional model. For example, the data engineers of a company decide to use data flows to build the star schema design dimensional model, including your facts and dimensional table in the Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. Then Power BI is used to generate reports, that means basically for data visualization purpose, and dashboards by getting data from the data flows. So this is all for today's video. Please don't forget to connect with us. And also don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest updates and videos. See you in the next video.